recording it because I thought this might be, I'll try to keep it a fairly short presentation and all that kind of stuff and answer questions afterwards. Um, I'll post this on, on my YouTube channel uh, for other people because I got people actually following it, believe it or not. I'm really surprised. Uh, what, what I'll do though, uh, yeah, I'll pass this around. This is something we all have access to it's from Desert Homes, I don't know if it's .com, DesertDomes.com. And you can get the, uh, the diagram, what it's supposed to look like, and the measurements. This is this is your map. This is how you build it. It's not really complex or anything like that, but it, it does help to have a little bit of practical building experience, things like that, just because working with things and knowing how they fit together comes in handy. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I, I, I did post how to cut these things. That's how I actually kind of started. Because I wanted to know how to, to cut all these things and the angles and things. And I spent a long months online. And everybody was wanting to sell me the, their, their plans, sell me their how to cut them and everything else. So I did. I bought a couple. You know, 50 bucks here, 50 bucks there. And even then, they weren't very good. So I thought, well, shoot, everybody's going to charge me for it. I'm just going to put it online and make it public. Because it's not really complex, but it can cost money. It is a little bit uh, capital intense when you get down to it, really. Um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But anyways, this is the plan how to do it, so I'll just start that around. And this is called a 3V. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe something for the frequency. Vector. Um, vector. Sounds yeah, good. I'll go through that. But it just means that there's there's larger triangles in the thing rather than a 4V which has smaller ones. But I think what also the 4V is half. And this is not truly half of a dome. It's it's uh, a little bit less than half. And, oh, I don't have it with me. Yes. If you look if, imagine a soccer ball, you can actually draw a line around the equator of the ball and it'll match up with all of the hexagons and pentagons are on the, on the soccer ball, but you never realize there's two different shapes on there either. But if you go three eighths, or you move it up just a little bit north of the equator on that thing, that's what this is. And then if you go south of the equator on the soccer ball, you then have what's called a five eighths dome. So that these are coming in from the bottom. A five eighths dome actually go away a little bit, and then they come back in. See, so that's my explanation of a three eighths and five eighths and a four eighths V uh, dome. And what, there is no true middle, but there's a couple of tricks that you have to do in order to make it work. Um, and, and that's new here or there for this this particular discussion. And I just printed this page. This is the page, the front one that they tell you to put in how big of your dome is going to be, put in the radius, and then they print out the measurements for your struts. These are called struts. And so I'll pass that around this way. And it also gives you a uh, little, that's what it looks like in one of the sectors. So I guess you can go around that way. Um, like I said, I just wanted to figure out how to make this dome. I thought it would be really cool. I'm a carpenter, and everybody's trying to say, yeah, but to make the cuts like this is too hard, it's too complex, you need to use a hub system, which is basically something in the middle that everyone connects to. They're a lot easier to do, but they all want to sell you that.